All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. Uh, my beautiful bride reminded re me recently that I haven't been using this stand that a really cool guy named Grayson made for me. Uh, this was supposed to be a prototype, and he was going to make uh, a, you know a final one, but this thing is so good. And uh, he probably will get around to that eventually, but he's been really, really busy, uh, busy young man like uh, all kids these days uh, trying to get into the work world and everything else. But it doesn't matter. This is cool. So thank you, Scarlett, for reminding me, and I'm going to use this. So uh, I have got a three-for-one video for you here today. These are three knives I picked up at Blade Show, knives that um, two of which I've reviewed before, um, one of which I haven't, but all three of which aren't necessarily available right now. Um, and But I just want to kind of highlight them for you. So they won't really be reviews as much as overviews. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of go through them, give you a little bit of specs here, and give you my thoughts on them. So you guys know I reviewed, this is the EMP EDC Nimble X. I reviewed the Nimble, uh, which was the original with the three inch blade. And this is the Nimble X with the three and a half inch blade. Um, I reviewed this as well. It was Kevin Left EDC's uh, reverse tux version. Oh um, no, it was it was one that that he had from John that was being passed around. That was the reverse tux. Uh, I went to Blade Show intending to get the flat side um, titanium one with the blue clip and the blue hardware, um, blue backspacer, and he didn't have any. Uh, and I saw this and held it, and I actually think that silver on silver with the frag pattern is just ridiculously gorgeous. Now you got this stone wash, big sheep's footy uh, blade. He calls it sheep's foot. It's really, it's kind of got a sheep's foot thing going on. It's kind of got maybe a, a little bit of a, 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 um, a spear point going on, but e either way, it's really kind of, very, very cool. So you've got the hole, whoops, the hole for middle finger flicking. Uh, you've got the hole that you can thumb flick. If, if you keep your thumb off the lock bar, I mean, your fingers off the lock bar. Man, what am I doing? This behind the camera thing just really stinks. Trust me, I do this all the time. Uh, and uh, you have, you can middle finger flick from the fuller way out here. Uh, and of course you have the flipper. And you have the front flipper. Good grief, I'm struggling. Um, you do have, uh, you know, what I would call shake shut action. It's not a super dropper. Very good and centered. There is no lock rock, no blade play, no lock stick. Um, my lock up here on this one is at about 20. Uh, again, it'll fall to your thumb and then just shake it the rest of the way home. And you got his awesome logo here on this side, tooling on this side, contoured or more like chamfered off. But you you know what I mean. They don't end up being flat in your hand. Uh, they're rolled off. It feels good. You've got four fingers back here. You've got four fingers and plenty of room up here. Plenty of room in that choke up. You got jimping that comes way out. Uh, no real build, no billboarding at all on the blade. Uh, just really well done. Uh, the one thing I would say, lock bar access could, you know, it's there. I still have to kind of, not really. I mean, if if I just push straight across, it's fine. Uh, I end up digging in a little bit, um, but it's not bad at all. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, it, it is gorgeous. Now, specs wise, this guy is um, 3.5 inch blade. Um, with a 3.5 millimeter stock. So it's not super thin, uh, but trust me, it cuts. Uh, it, it definitely cuts. Be just look at that stone wash, guys. Well, you know what? This is why this was a prototype, because he was going to fix some of these uh, issues with a thicker knife uh, standing up there. Uh, the total length is 8.1. The handle length is 4.6. The handle thickness is 0.48. Um, and a little thicker, 0.61 at the clip, of course, frag milled, um, and really, really cool. Now, uh, the blade steel is M390, and again, like I said, these uh, are going to be, when they come back in, they were 300 I believe, on the pre-order. 
I, I think I paid three twenty five or something at Blade Show, and I think they're going to be three fifty going forward. Um, he, he doesn't have any now, but the way he does things, he gets um, batches in from time to time, and he'll drop them. Uh, so you, I guarantee, I don't guarantee, but I, I almost guarantee that you will see uh, those again. Now, it does come in a magnetic box uh, with the cutout for the knife. So that is really cool. Um, and so that is the EMP EDC Nimble X. I should have told you at the beginning, with three knives, this is going to be a little longer video than you're used to from me. But um, just a great knife. And I'm so happy to have it. Uh, this is going to be one that I plan to stick around. Uh, may even do some mods to it down the road color-wise and makes, give me some blue. Uh, but we shall see. So we'll put that one back here. And we're going to bring out um, the EMP EDC Slenderman. Now this one, the reason I'm not doing a full review is this one's been around for a while. And it is not currently available. It is an OTF. Um, John had some at blade show guys and this is supposed to be a second uh like a uh you know like a qc reject and the only thing i can find is this slight right there there it is that slight discoloration at the blade tip um there it is you can see it right there you see that where maybe the grind is just a little off and that was rejected but let me tell you it cuts uh these uh are d2 steel and um i think let's see they are aluminum on the uh, yeah, uh, milled aluminum on the uh, handle. And just look at that, guys. You got milling down here. You got milling on the sides. It's contoured and chamfered on the edges. 4.6 inch handle, 3.4 inch blade. Very, very thin Warncliffe blade in this case. Um, I think he did them in a Tanto. He did them uh, in different things. Um, let's see, 2.48 ounces. Uh, and the pocket clip is titanium. So uh, the button, guys, really good texture, uh, good travel. You you have to make sure you get it out there. It's not quite as stiff as some others. You can see this action is crazy uh, for what was a $100 knife. Um, and I, I bet you he'll come back with some of these at some point. Again, it feels good in the hand. Uh, very, very nicely done. Milled titanium clip. Slenderman written on there. As with every uh, OTF that I've experienced so far, there's a little bit of blade play with, you know, up and down and side to side, but it's not as bad as some that I've seen. Um, and I'm excited to have it. It needs a little blade touch up and I'm going to take care of that. Uh, I'll also take care of that issue at the tip. You know, no big deal. You got this uh, just really cool looking a Warren Cliff blade. I really, really dig this one. Uh, this one came in a Velcro pouch. Uh, really, really cool. I like that. Um, and yeah, so thanks, John, for that. Uh, let's put that back here. And then last but not least, uh, you have the Artisan Arian. Uh, now, uh, this is one, uh, it comes in this pouch from Artisan. This is one I've reviewed multiple times in multiple different configurations. So I, I, I first did, uh, it, it had the uh, maroon double coral micarta, whatever you call it, uh, on one side and titanium on the lock side. And then I did a small version of that. And then I did the, um, the liner lock micarta version. Um, and all three have been great. Well, I was a blade show with JB, Big Red EDC, my buddy. If you don't follow Big Red EDC, please go check him out. I, I doubt you're here and not, but you should. He's, he's a great friend and a great voice on knives and just such a friendly, kind dude. Um, anyway, uh, when I got there, uh, you know, um, Russell from Artisan, he knows I love blue, and he goes, oh, have I got something for you, and he lays this out on the table. It was the last one they had, period. End of story, last one. Um, and I'm like, oh goodness. And JB's like, you're getting this. You're, you're getting that big red. He just kept saying, you're, you're, you're getting that. You're going to buy that. You're leaving here with that. Uh, so, you know, not a whole lot to review on this one. I love, uh, the, um, man, can you even pick it up? It's got uh micro milling on the titanium. You can feel it, but man, you can't, you just can't pick it up on camera. 
Come on, there it is. You see it? Micro milling lines there. Uh, really good access to the lock bar. It is a frame lock you got. Um, excellent lock up there. No lock rock, no blade play. And then, ladies and gentlemen, gorgeous Arctic Storm blue uh, fat carbon. Now, I just love this. This one is S35. You do have the Artisan logo. You got S35 up here and the Cerberus Knives logo. This is one, uh, this this is a classic in my opinion. The, the Arian will stick around. There'll be other versions of this simply because two things. It's very thin, both in the handle and in the blade. By the way, there's your lanyard hole, lanyard fans, and a milled pocket clip. Uh, and it's super duper fidgety. It drops like mad. Uh, it flies out of there if I actually don't screw it up. Um, and it just is magnificent in the hand. Uh, contoured scales on the edges. It's flat in the middle, contoured on the edges, as you can see. And I just absolutely love this knife. It carries like a dream in the pocket. So thin. Uh, just love it. If you like uh, the Centauri, uh, which is a Ray Laconico design from Artisan, I know that's a front flipper. Um, if you like that, this is somewhat similar in that it's very thin uh, and just really, really nicely done. So there you go, guys. Uh, oh, I forgot to give specs on this one. I'll just do that. What the heck? Uh, it's 3.81 inch blade. Again, another reason I love it, a big, long blade. Um, uh, and it is 8.62 overall and 4.92 on the handle. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm not sure on the weight because I haven't been able to find, let me tell you what, let's just, hold on, we're going to weigh it. We'll do it off camera, but we'll tell you because I don't have any room on the table to actually, whoa, I don't have any room on the table to show you the scale, but trust me, I'm doing it right over here. 4.34, but again, at such a large size, it doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, it carries very, very well. So there you go. That is, and and by the way, I think I paid, um, I don't even remember what I paid for, 250 or 300. Um, but uh, I think that was a little bit of a show deal, but uh, last one kind of thing. But um, I'm not sure that this one's going to be available. And again, that's why this isn't a full review. It's uh, kind of three not-so-rapid overviews because I really wanted to focus on the beauty of these three knives. They are just awesome and gorgeous. Hopefully, you can see all three. Oh, come on, stand up. All right, so there is all three of those knives. Really enjoyed them, uh, and they're sticking around the collection for a while for sure, and uh, can't really carry the Slenderman in, uh, for a little while longer in my state, but I will be soon. Uh, and it is so light and thin. And guys, thank you so much uh, for all your support. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, hopefully you like this. If you did, stick around. Uh, you know, Check out the channel and subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell. And guys, thank you again for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.